See the ball, hit the ball. Sounds easy enough, but if it was that easy, we'd all be playing in the major leagues. Basic hand-eye coordination, extremely important in baseball in general, but in what some people consider the hardest thing in sports to do, hitting a baseball. Well, today, friend of the show, Coach Turtle Thomas is here, and he's going to talk with us about some simple drills that can help your players see the ball better and hit it harder today on Clubhouse Gas. Number one thing in hitting, without a doubt, is your visual tracking of the baseball. Seeing, watching, focusing, concentrating on that baseball. Right from the release, about that one foot box, right around the, the, the pitcher's release right there, as close to the bat as humanly possible. Now, once it gets so close to you, the ball becomes a blur. So I can't necessarily watch it hit the bat, particularly the harder the pitch is coming in. But there's two things I don't want to do as a hitter with my head and eyes. Number one, when I hit a pitch, I don't want to look out toward the outfield where I think the ball's going to go. The second worst thing you can do is swing and let your head go with your front shoulder, literally looking behind you. Neither one of those are good for visual tracking of the ball whatsoever. Now think about something. This is a good point. Every swing that you take in your lifetime, your head and eyes and chin should go down. Why? Because every pitch you swing at is below eye level. I don't swing at a pitch up here. So everything I swing at is below eye level. So my head, eyes, and chin should always go down, looking right down to the level of the pitch where I'm making contact with the baseball when I finish. The lower the pitch, the more my head goes down as I make contact with the ball. Now, how about these drills for visual tracking the ball? You know, so many young hitters don't really see the ball out of the pitcher's hand. They really don't do that. What they do is they pick the ball up 10, 12, 15 feet in front of the, front of the pitcher's release. All right, they don't really see it come out of the hand. All right, that way the ball looks faster, quicker, smaller to them as a hitter. Incidentally, one of the great things about staying back on your stride the ball looks bigger and it looks slower to you than when your body weight goes forward. We always like it to look more like a softball than like a tennis ball right there. Take a black batting glove on your throwing hand. Say you as a dad or a coach or whatever it might be. When you're throwing behind the L screen, you've got a bunch of white, pearly white baseballs. All right, pick a ball up. That white ball contrasted by that black batting glove really makes the hitters conscious of watching the baseball right out of the pitcher's hand. And that's what you'd like to do as a hitter. See that ball right there as that ball's coming out. White contrasted by black, very good way to do it right there. Here's another good point. You know, at contact, what I'd like to do, let's say the pitch was low and inside. When I finish my swing, my head should go down enough, my eyes should go down enough, and I want to focus on that low and inside pitch throughout my swing, right where I make contact. Finish with your head and eyes right on the spot of contact. Here's another good one. Let's say this black tape was the inside corner of the plate and I'm set up. What I would do is take a five pound weight plate and I would put it in the front of the opposite batter's box. Or maybe take one of those short orange cones and put it up there. And when I finish my swing, Head's always finishing on your back shoulder, looking right through the spot of contact all the way down to that weight plate or that cone. It makes you finish with that head on that back shoulder. Here's a good one. You know, pitchers always throw with either a two-seam or a four-seam grip. Two-seam, of course, with the, 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 uh, the, the red stitching, those 108 red stitches come close together, parallel with each other. As you throw a two-seamer, a hitter's going to see more red in the middle of the baseball. You'd think two-seam, ah, more white. It's not, it's more red. The four-seam, you see more white in the middle of the ball because there's a longer distance between the stitching of that baseball. Now, what you do with a two-seam, four-seam grip, 
Guys throwing behind the L screen. I'm up here hitting. Every time I hit it or even take a pitch, as soon as I hit it, I'm going to either hold up two or four or tell him two seam, four seam. And he's going to tell me whether I'm right or wrong. The two seam, four seam grip is the best drill that you can use to really visually track the baseball as close to the bat as you can. I'm not going to tell two seam and four seam unless I really focus from the release as close to the bat as humanly possible before the ball becomes a blur. Two seam, four seam is a very, very good drill, no doubt about it. Here might be one even a little bit better. How about this one? You know, a baseball is two and three quarter inches in diameter, five to five and a quarter ounces, nine to nine and a quarter ounces in circumference, 108 red stitches. What I'd like to do as a hitter is right as the ball comes out of the pitcher's hand, I want to focus on nothing but the middle dot the very center of that two and three quarter inch diameter baseball. And I'm going to try to, with my hands, hand-eye coordination, taking the barrel of the bat to that center dot of the baseball. See, that produces the hardest hit, the greatest exit velocity off the ball when I hit the center of that baseball. More line drives are hit. How about this? I'm going to give you a pretty good stat. In Major League Baseball, a 10-year study, line drives, all line drives coming off a major league bat resulted in a 370 batting average. Ground balls, it was more like 310. Fly balls, it was more like 180 or something like that. So think about it. The more line drives I hit, the harder it is for the defensive player to have that range left and right, east and west, or north and south, up and back. 